Big Daddy Cal is spending on the mukbang. <laughs> Big ass coffee. I think it's just like white people boba. Yeah, you know, the more I eat this fish sandwich, it's not that good. Hi guys, okay, jumping in to let you know that my merch, by the way, I've never talked to you guys about my merch before because every time I've shared it on my vlog channel, it sells out before I can tell you. But my merch is available right now. If you guys are interested in any Shop Remy Cruise merch, go check it out. We have tote bags, we have trucker hats, we have a zip up hoodie. It's so cute. It says, it has come to my attention that I have completely overreacted because I am a drama queen and I am known to overreact oftentimes. And that phrase is definitely a text that I have actually sent my friends multiple times before. So we decided to make it into merch. So also I just dropped a spatula, yes you heard that right, in collaboration with William Sonoma and No Kid Hungry and 30% of the proceeds go to No Kid Hungry. It's amazing, it's so cute. I literally hand drew the design so if you guys are interested that's also linked down below. Let's get started with this video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We are currently in the car en route. You have me, Remy, you have Cal. Yo. Yo, and we are currently in Minnesota. We came for the weekend because we had to take care of some family stuff and before we head back home, we have a couple things on our list that we want to take take care of. It's gonna be very exciting. First up, where are we going, Cal? Culver's. Culver's. If you guys have never heard of Culver's, it's a fast food chain predominantly in the Midwest, I wanna say. but they don't have them back in LA and it is the first thing that Cal and I stop at whenever we come out here. So for all my Midwest girlies, I'm sure that you will be very excited right now. And what are we gonna get, Cal? Cheese curds. <laughs> Basically, it's like any other fast food restaurant that you can get anywhere else, but they have fried cheese curds, which is a Midwest specialty, as well as these delicious things called concretes, where you can put like hundreds of different things inside. So it's gonna be delicious and I'm hundreds? hungry. I was exaggerating. You are Let's exaggerating. <laughs> we have a beautiful Minnesota day. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding, we lied. We need coffee <laughs> before we eat. So we are going to this chain called Caribou Coffee. I'm sure a lot of you are watching this and think that this is not very exciting, but we don't have these chains and everywhere here is a drive-thru and it's very exciting. So let's get some coffee. Wait, so there's no Caribou Coffee in LA? I've never seen it before I until yesterday. I've never seen it before. Have a caribou we're doing today. No problem. Hi, can I please do a medium iced matcha vanilla tea latte with almond milk? And then can I also do a small matcha tea cooler with bubbles? Bubbles. Bubbles. Wait, where do you see the matcha cooler? Right there. Bring on the bubbles. Look at what a cute interracial couple we are. <laughs> bubbles. Bubbles. Whoa. And then here's the <laughs> Big ass coffee. Here's our cubes. So it's a matcha tea, like a frozen latte with cubes. Here I go. Can see the cube travel? Mm hmm I think it's just like white people boba. Tastes like ice cream. What? <laughs> Wait, Can I, I didn't get a cube yet. I, I saw a bunch of cubes oh. in the straw. It's so cold. Mm. You're about to hit one, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's like a fruit jelly consistency, but with like a caramel flavor. Oh. It's so bad, but also so good. You're not mukbanging your coffee. What kind of coffee did you get? I got the vanilla cold brew. Let's try an iced matcha latte with almond milk. I love the color of the straws. I like the cups. We are loving the branding here. That's delicious. Less sweet than Starbucks, which I appreciate. Would not recommend the bubbles. Here is our bubble. Very strange. What is it made out of? Don't know. Look at her in all her glory. Blackberry cobbler? There she is. Look at that glorious menu. You know, I think I'm gonna get the fish sandwich. I kinda want the chicken tendies. <sighs> Thank you for choosing Culver's. Today's flavor today is so blackberry cobbler. Not. What can we make fresh for you? Can we do one fish sandwich? With the cheese oh, okay. curds. I'll also do the sourdough melt with the french fries on the side. I'll do chicken tenders with a side of cheese curds. Your total will be $32.52 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. $32.52. That's a lot of money. I'll get it. You sure? Yeah. Big Daddy Cal is spending on the mukbang. Okay, so you order and then you pay and then they give you like a little tag that you put on your car window <laughs> and they run the food out to you. This is genius. It's like the car is the table. I'm gonna jump out and get the light. A professional mukbanger always comes prepared. 
Look at your puppy. <gasps> Look at your puppy. Does that do anything? Maybe if I just hold it here. <laughs> yeah, we got the goods. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my God, these are delicious fries. You hear that crunch? <laughs> We've got ranch. I will say I'm not looking forward to these prepackaged ranch. I thought that they were gonna be, you know, made there. We'll see if they're good. Yeah, they said make fresh. Make fresh. What can we make fresh for you? Here we've got some tenders. Have you tried their tenders yet? No. Oh, this is my fish sandwich. Oh my god, I feel like Mikey Chen. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, she's petite. She's looking cute. Ooh. You said you have or have not tried? Never. These Never look good. Tried. They just look like little like chicken so cutlets. Small. Here are the piece de resistance, the cheese curds. There you go, sir. Basically, they're just like little mini mozzarella sticks. And you don't know if you're gonna get white cheese or orange cheese on the inside. And then they pull like they're that. They're way better than mozzarella sticks. Okay, then I've got my cheese curds. I've got fries. These are crinkle cut. As I just said, they're delicious. And then we've got the sourdough melt, which again, I've never tried. These are all new things to us, but you can't really go wrong with the sourdough melt. <gasps> you gotta share that, that with me. That looks pretty good. Here, share this with me. Okay. Two pieces of sourdough in between. That's hot. Definitely grilled with lots of butter. We've got a patty. We've got onions and cheese. I don't know if there's any sauce on it. Doesn't look to be. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. You know what? It's good. The bread looks toasty, but it's not. It's kind of soggy. Crunchy. And I wish there was a sauce on it. Like, don't you think a Thousand Island or like yeah, a cane sauce on this would be so sure. good? Yeah, they needed to put like. Yeah, look, there's no sauce. I give it a six out of ten. Like a Thousand Island with this would be bomb. 5.7. Ooh. Here's my fish sandwich. We got the fish. We got the bread. Tartar sauce. Lettuce. And a little cheese. The lettuce looks nasty. I hate iceberg lettuce. Tendy time. Again, kind of flavorless, but the fish itself is really good. It's really hot and crispy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Lightly breaded, very tender. I really like crunchy chicken tenders though. I wish they put onions on this and maybe like tomato just to give it a little more flavor because it's good. It's just really fish and bread though. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> just a regular old burger is definitely the thing to get. I just realized we forgot to get Culver's. a thumbnail. We're such bad mukbangers. I'll hold a curd and string it. Yeah, you know, the more I eat this fish sandwich, it's not that good. I will say what they do well is the sides and the ice cream. And the burgers. Their burgers are really good. Mm -hmm. Like, I tried their spicy chicken sandwich and it was fine. Mm. But their burgers are where it's at. Mm -hmm. Ranch is not good here. It's giving Hidden Valley. Nope. Yeah. Fries, delicious. I'm getting the full. The curves are great. Yeah. Oh my God, my hair. All right, that's our mukbang. Did we do good? <laughs> I don't think so, but Did that's okay. Did we do good? No, we're gonna do the one other thing that we love to do in Minnesota. Where are we going, babe? We're going to the mall. Of America. Can I have a bite? Good. They're very tender, yeah. Mm. It tastes like a chicken star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That was the best thing we got so far. All right, let's go. Go, go to Culver's for the burgers. I keep trying case. to end it and you keep talking. Go to Culver's <laughs> because they're so nice. Okay, bye. Go to Culver's. <laughs> we made it to the Mall of America. Cal's doing some shopping in the men's. I'm doing some shopping at YSL. <laughs> Cal's doing some shopping. I'm going to be honest, those cheese curds knocked me out for an hour in the car. I was like, the whole way here. I'm getting some cute new little tennis clothes. This mall will never get old. Cal, let's see the haul. What'd you get? Hold up your bag. Back for our second caribou coffee of the day. I'm getting me a birthday cake pop. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Look at that goodness. Oh, hell yeah. Mushy goodness. The amusement park. Oh, I think we're on the other side, Cal. We're normally on the other side of it. Stop. Look at all the squishmallows. Hi, queen. You look amazing, sweetie. I truly think I could spend 24 straight hours in this mall and still have places that I haven't seen yet. It is massive. Right now we've got Lint chocolates right next to Eddie Bauer, next to Cold Stone Creamery. I'm gonna get some chocolates to make with my coffee. And they have all the fun flavors here. Oh my God. <gasps> Extra dark, ooh. We love our dark chocolate. Came to Sephora. This Sephora is stocked with so many things that I've been dying to try. I'm so excited. Operation fit everything in one little carry-on. Going with Remy to the Mall of America means we will be in the parking lot stuffing our carry-on with our new purchases. <laughs> I have no faith. A lot of stuff no, in this carry-on. No, we're babes. I'm gonna do it. Attempt number one of zipping it up. The only attempt I need. Away suitcases. 100 day satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> And we are ending our day with an airport Moscow mule. Ooh, that'll get the job done. What'd you get, Cal? Burrito. See you at home.
Hi guys, okay, I am back home and I wanted to do a little Mall of America haul for you guys. I know I was in a rush. We didn't have that much time at the mall, but I may do with the time. Don't worry, I got quite a few things. But as you saw, I couldn't get too much because I had to stuff it all into my carry-on, but we made it work. Also, I've been home for a few days and I have been craving, I know I said it wasn't that good. I've been craving that fish sandwich, that like crispy fish. My mouth is salivating as I'm speaking about it. It was delicious, but Mall of America haul. First up, I'm wearing a piece that I got. This is a Skims robe. I own this already in pink and I love it so much. I wear it like every day. The only thing is because I always do my makeup in it, I get makeup all over it. So I wanted to get a black one so I could interchange them and then also hopefully the makeup won't show up as much. But it's super soft. It's nice and thin, which I love because I'm just a sweaty girl and I sweat while I'm getting ready and this makes it a little easier. I also picked up this skirt right here. I haven't done a haul on this channel in so long and I missed it. I found this in the Nike section. I think this is kind of like, could be an athletic skirt or could be just an athleisure skirt. Skirt, but it's just like this like windbreaker material just standard little black skirt It's got a little Nike logo on this side a little swoosh super simple But I thought this would be cute to wear playing tennis or maybe I could dress it up and wear it for like a regular day Also, I'm going to Hawaii very soon and I wanted to get some cute little beachy things cover-ups and swimsuits and things So I found this really 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 soft romper. This is from the brand beyond yoga, which they just make the softest stuff It's very simple. It's just a black scoop neck romper it looks like this it's got a little drawstring in the middle. It's just incredibly soft. And when I go to Hawaii, I just want to throw things on and go to the beach and not think about what I'm wearing. So picked this up. Very Remy circa 2016. Speaking of tennis, I got this adorable skirt here. I think I've decided that my favorite tennis skirts come from Free People. They're just the softest and so comfy and so stretchy. So I got just a plain white one. Super simple. Goes with everything. And actually, it's not even a skirt. It has built-in shorts. So it's a sport, but I'll be wearing this all the time. I wear these just to go out like on a normal day too. They're just so comfy. At Sephora, I picked up a bunch of samples. I got two of these SK2. I don't know, they looked expensive. So I got two of these. And then I got three of these little Glow Recipe travel size things because I'm always traveling. Glow Recipe is one of my absolute favorite brands. This comes with the, oh my God, little baby dew drops, which I love. I wear them every day. And then the little toner. So I've got plenty to take with me. And then I picked up a few things. First up, these have been sold out everywhere in LA so when I saw them at the store I ran to them I've been working really hard to clear up my skin lately and I've been feeling so much more confident in a bare face and before because of all my scarring and texture I would always avoid like shimmery things on my base because I felt like it just really emphasized all my texture but now that it is clearing up and looking so good I want to wear shimmery things on my base so these are from the brand say I believe this is a clean brand but it's like a little pumpy product this one is in star glow and it's basically like a shimmery glow gel. I'll just do the tiniest bit so I don't waste. But here is Star Glow and this one is Sun Glow, which is a little bit more bronzy. Ah! Here they are. Here is the shimmery kind of light one and then here's the more bronzy one. I think they just look beautiful just on the skin. Ooh, I probably will mix them, honestly. I think they look gorgeous on the skin. Just add like a nice shimmery sheen. I definitely am going to wear these on my vacation. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm, it smells like orchids. In conjunction with this product right here, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, another shimmery, really thin, light coverage product. I got it in the shade 5.5. This was the only thing close-ish to my skin tone that they had. I definitely am more of like a 4.5, but they're sold out of them all the time. So I figured once I get a tan, this will fit me a bit better, but it's basically just a nice shimmery, kind of light, not even a foundation, like just a tint for the skin. But this on top of those just looks gorgeous. Ah! So very excited to wear these all summer long. Oh, it dry sounds like a nice finish. It's not matte, but it's not sticky. I love that. And then for skincare, as I said, I've been taking really good care of my skin. I have never tried this brand yet, but I've heard great things. So I picked up these from Youth to the People. This is a Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. And this has niacinamide, kombucha, and BHA. And then this is the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial Instant Microdermabrasion Enzyme Treatment. That is a mouthful. I've heard amazing things about this brand and wanted to try both of these. And last but not least, I picked up a new moisturizer. I just finished my entire Sunday Riley CEO facial cream and I saw they came out with this one So I wanted to give this a try. This is the CEO afterglow. It's a brightening vitamin C cream So I will see if I like it. I'm curious. Oh, it smells fantastic. Oh my god 
That smells like something. I know. But that is everything that I picked up at the Mall of America. I hope you've enjoyed this Midwest mukbang and shopping haul. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, don't forget my merch is available at shopramycruise.com. Go check it out. And also my spatula with William Sonoma and No Kid Hungry is also linked down below. Check them out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.